This is the OTB Network. in the Pegasus. And it's Turbo Compressor right out to take the lead. Pants on fire and between those two, Harlan Tello with speed. Concealed Identity and Clark Lane will sit behind as they race quickly to the first turn. Turbo Compressor up top. Right there to the outside is Harlan Tello in second. Pants on fire is third just to the outside of Concealed Identity. Now they're right together and they're two and a half lengths off the lead. The trailer is Clark Lane and Clark Lane is almost six lengths behind as they go to the back stretch. That first quarter was 23 and three. Turbo Compressor and Mike Lazzi lead the way in the Pegasus. Three quarters of a length on top. Harlan Tello is second. Pants on fire and concealed identity together with five furlongs to run. And they are edging up right next to each other side by side surrounding Harlan Tello and getting closer to Turbo Compressor. Four horses within a length and a long way back to Clark Lane who's about seven lengths behind. 47 and one was the half. Into the far turn. Turbo Compressor keeps that lead. On the outside, Harlan's hello. Pants on fire, moving now. Concealed Identity lost some ground, but he's still in the race. Clark Lane is not. He's out of contention as Pants on fire has taken the lead. Pants on fire on top after three quarters in one, ten, and four. And they're into the stretch. And Pants on fire and Rosie Napravnik have the lead with a furlong to run. Concealed Identity runs on again on the outside. At the rail, Turbo Compressor has dropped back. It's Pants on fire and Concealed Identity coming down to the line. Pants on fire is back. He's won the Pegasus by two and a half lengths. Concealed Identity was second. Turbo Compressor was third. And Harlan Tello finished fourth. They're racing in the Anderson Fowler Stakes. Christie's Born to Run had a good start. Here's the favorite Royal Courier up to grab the lead, though. And then it's Classical Chant and Amen Corner in between horses. Steady Warrior is down on the inside, running in fifth as they leave the chute. Then entry mate Wicked Thunder, followed to the outside by Affluence. And at the back of the field are Shankopotamus and Freud's Honor. The opening quarter was 22 seconds flat. Royal Courier, the leader by a half length. Classical Chant pressing on the outside second. Christie's Born to Run is two lengths off of them, running in third. Steady Warrior saves all the ground in fourth as they make their way toward the top of the stretch. Then it's Affluence, Royal Courier, turning for home in front. Leads the way by a length and a half. Christie's Born to Run on the outside, trying to run down the favorite Royal Courier. Royal Courier keeps the lead in mid-stretch. Christie's Born to Run on the inside is second. The others are well behind as Royal Courier and Joe Bravo keep on going to the wire. They take the Anderson Fowler by two. Christie's Born to Run was second. Freud's on her third, then Steady Warrior. And they are off. Thunder and Amelia breaks well on the far outside, vies for the lead. Toward the inside, it's surely she can. In between them, it's Millennia as they make the way to that first turn. Thunder and Amelia toward the outside with Pimentel looking for a spot. But down toward the inside, it's surely she can. And 
Surely she can on the inside. Leads it by about a half over Thunder and Amelia. Under a nice hold on the outside second, followed by Shibi Classy and Millennia side by side. Kitty Love has the rail in fifth, followed by Simple Songs moving up on the outside. And Song is your trailer. Opening quarter in 24 and 2 as they straighten away down the backside. On the front end, it's Shirley She Can and Thunder and Amelia who are going at it stride for stride. It's about two lengths. The Millennium going nicely in third. Shibi Classy has the rail fourth. Kitty Love half length further back in fifth. Two to Simple Songs and Song toward the inside of the trailer. Only about six lengths separates this field top to bottom. Opening half run in 48 and four identical quarters as they make their way to the turn. Thunder and Amelia toward the outside. Shirley She Can on the inside are still heads apart. Millennia trying to get closer in third followed by Shibi Classy toward the inside. Then Kitty Love. And Song and Simple Songs now begins to fade from the scene with three eights to go. Thundering Amelia. Millennia's moving up on the outside of that one. Toward the inside, surely she can. She be classy's under a drive now in fourth. Then Kitty Love has dropped back in fifth. Top of the stretch. Thundering Amelia between horses. Up on the outside, Millennia are now head to head. And She Be Classy begins to kick it in. Three across the track with a furlong to go. Thunder and Amelia. She Be Classy driving on the outside. Millennia between them. It's She Be Classy now beginning to edge away. She Be Classy and Joe Rocco Jr. will win the John Rooney Memorial by about three lengths. Thunder and Amelia holds on to second. Millennia third, followed by Kitty Love fourth. They're off in the dash. Ricky's light off to a slow beginning. Not so Lieutenant Hopeful and El Charuca. And these two quickly scamper away from the rest of the field. Radiohead on the outside is running along in third. There's Ricky's light to the inside. And they are joined by Towsy. Chamberlain Bridge will have to do it from off the pace today as he loops around Radiohead. And Ben's cat is the trailer as they move into the far turn. Lieutenant Hopeful is out there flaunting his speed. Through an opening quarter in 21 and 3 fifth seconds. He's being pursued by El Charuca. Two lengths to Towsy. Then it's Ricky's Light, Ben's Cat, Chamberlain Bridge with a lot of work to do. He's seven lengths off the lead. Radiohead trails the field into the stretch of the dash. Lieutenant Hopeful. Here's El Charuca on the outside. The wide outside, it's Towsy and Ben's Cat and Chamberlain Bridge. Not today. Inside the 16th pole. Here comes Ben's Cat after El Charuca. But El Charuca hangs on. Ben's cat was second, Radiohead third. They're off in the Charlestown Dash. On the outside, there goes Unusual Manor vying for the lead up the rail. Immortal Eyes now on the move up into second and challenging for the lead between horses third. That's Jiu Jitsu Jacks. Now passed up the rail by Gold Czar and to the outside is taken. Well, the two lengths back outside, Jack on the Rocks moving past Love to the max. From the back of the pack comes Tough Take Please and a whole new ball game. Opening quarter 21 and 1. On inside Immortal Eyes has got the lead. Unusual Manor is putting a big effort in tonight right there within a half a length. There's almost seven lengths back to Jiu Jitsu Jack. Then on the outside comes Jack on the rocks between horses looking to make up some ground is Tough Take Please. Off the turn Immortal Eyes says go. Travis Dunkelberger pulling away at 1 to 2. Immortal Eyes tons the best in the Charlestown Dash up for second. Tough take, please. Very tight for the show, though. Fuddle between Jiu Jitsu Jacks and Jack on the Rocks. Unofficial winning time 50 and 3 fifth seconds.
in the gate. And they're off and racing. On the outside, Grand Kisses comes right out running for the lead. Following pursuit on the outside, Moonlit Malibu towards the inside third is Dream. Up into fourth, Sweet Susan, then towards the rail, Sam's Bliss. Followed by Deco Rock, still another five already back to 360, who trails the field. Around that turn they go, Grand Kisses and Oscar Flores out there at five to one, have the lead by three lengths. Sitting in second, Moonlit Malibu, then racing third is Dream. And we go back another two and a half lengths to Sweet Susan. Trying to move up further out, here comes Deco Rock. Rocks towards the inside is Sam's Bliss, and still another eight back to the trailer, 360. Quarter mile, 23 flat as they race down the backside, all chasing Grand Kisses. He continues to lead by two lengths. In second, Moonlit Malibu trying to run him down. Then towards the inside, Dream is still sitting there third, right alongside and fourth on the outside, Deco Rocks. And then comes Sweet Susan. Sweet Susan on the move up into third. They're chasing Grand Kisses. Five to one in the wagering goes the half and 48 and one. He'll rock at the top of the stretch, leading by five lengths. Trying to hold on second is Moonlit Malibu. Now on the move on the outside third, Sweet Susan continues her pursuit. Drifting out there, Grand Kisses some trouble in the stretch. We'll try to get back on stride. Here comes Moonlit Malibu down on the inside. Moonlit Malibu in a photo finish. Three them across the track. Grand Kisses comes back on the outside to gain his stride to hold off the pack. Moonlit Malibu in a photo for place with Sweet Susan. Unofficial winning time, 119 and 3 fifth seconds. And they're off in the wild and wonderful stakes. Down towards the inside, Commodaro comes out running for the lead. On the inside, Russell Road is right there. Center of the track, here comes Flat Bold along with Wink at the girls. Back racing in fifth on the inside, Leo Buster alongside and moving up is Good Lord now. Two more back to In the Juice to the outside. That's no advantage. And trailing the field early as terms of engagement. They head into that turn and Commodaro continues to hold the lead. There on the outside is Flat Bold. Down on the rail, Russell Road try to make a move on the turn, but he's back in third, just three and a half from the front. In fourth is Wink at the girls. We drop back into the four lengths to Good Lord. Then to the outside comes in the juice, followed by no advantage. Three more back to Leo Buster. Long ways to the trailer. Terms of engagement. The quarter was 23 flat and Commodaro continues to show the way to the inn at Charlestown turn. A length and a half ahead of Flat Bold. On the outside, Russell Road in third and trying to make a bid. Towards the rail, fourth is Wink at the girls. From the back of the pack, in the juice now. Up outside of Good Lord. Six more back to Flat bowl, the half went in 46 and one, a quick pace and Commodaro now right alongside is gonna get challenged at the top of the stretch. Here comes Flat Bold. Looking like a winner at 10 to 1, trying to get by Commodaro. The whip is out. Here comes Russell Road. Way back in the juice. Six of them across the track. Wink at the girls. Blinks splits the field and starts to get away at 21 to 1. Wink at the girls. Upset winner over in the juice. Russell Road back in third. Good Lord finishes fourth. Commodaro out of the money. Unofficial winning time, 125 and 1. line once again and they're off and racing in the four hundred thousand dollar red legend good even break towards the inside comes Durmeister down the center of the track is going to be little drama in between horses JP's gusto is up It'll be Deer Meister, though, to take a short lead about a neck in front of GP's Gusto. Four wide to the outside. Little Dramas there. Back down along the inside. The Ronger Native rushes up the inside. Right alongside that one is Nacho Saint. Then on the move quickly on the out, far outside, there goes Little Drama making a big move all the way back into third after some trouble going to the turn. We drop back other three lengths along the inside. BG Suavezito is racing in six to the outside. Here comes a rush from Decisive Moment. Four more back to Yankee Passion and the early trailers are going to be 
B's accolade followed on the inside by Black and Beauty. A half went in 46 and 3 after a quarter of 23 and 1. They head to the end at Charlestown turn. GP's Gusto. JD Acosta with the lead and starting to pull away. Rushing up into second. Here comes Little Drama. Back third along the inside. Dermeister now passed quickly by Nacho Saint who is gaining momentum. Then BG Suavecito up the inside. As they turn for home though, JP's Gusto. JD Acosta at 8 to 5 is looking like the lead pipe cinch of the night. JP's Gusto's got it pulling away. The class will prevail here, winning easily in the $400,000 Red Legend. Battle for second here down on the inside. LaRonger native in a photo finish with Nacho Saint. Back in fourth was Little Drama. Unofficial winning time, 125 flat. And they're off. Action Andy, right to the front. Follow my footsteps there. Follow my footsteps will settle right off of Action Andy. Here's Mikoshi in between horses settling back now. And Pocket Patch is underway on the outside early. Pocket Patch a bit wide that first turn run now chasing Action Andy. Here's Follow My Footsteps third down on the inside. Racing fourth is Frisky Thunder and Boletti is fifth about mid-pack. Mikoshi's under hold about seven lengths off the pace up ahead. Then Safety Valve and it's another two to Harlan Street and Vanquisher Lab. Vanquisher has to make up about a dozen lengths. 24 and change for the opening quarter out there. Five furlongs left to go. Action Andy is sharp three quarters of a length from Pocket Patch. It's a separation of about five lengths. And third is Frisky Thunder. Follow my footsteps on the inside and fourth. Makoshi's fifth about eight lengths off the lead with about a half mile left to go. Then Boletti is next in safety. Val followed by Vanquisher who's improved one spot. Harlan Street is the trailer half was 47. Three fifths of a second. Three eighths from home. Into the Hoss Stakes. Action Andy. Pocket Patch trying to keep that one company from second. Frisky Thunder followed by Footsteps. And then McCushy's underway on the outside. McCushy is closing in wide out on the course as they make the turn for home. A quarter of a mile left to go. Action Andy gets away. Action Andy up the inside. Now followed by Footsteps and McCushy. They're trying to converge on Action Andy. The speed of Action Andy's taking him a long ways for a long home with a two-length lead. And McCushy surging on the outside. Action Andy. McCushy followed by my footsteps on the inside. Action Andy! Action Andy! A photo finish with a surging follow by footsteps. Makoshi and Vanquisher. It's too close to call. Leave it up to the judges in the Dehaus. Edward P. Evans all along, and they're off. And a solid beginning. Spring Party, Dinah Walsh from the inside gates and Baltimore Bell, but it's going to be Spring Party from Baltimore Bell right alongside. Now second, Dinah Walsh right off the leaders now taken back in third. Acronym travels fourth, followed by Somme Racing third to last. Here is the one to two favorite, Aruna, who has one horse beaten. That's Apple Charlotte trailing the field into the first turn. Baltimore Bell and Spring Party providing the pace together. 23 and four was the opening quarter. They're beginning to duel now and open up a half dozen on Dinah Walsh. Walsh, third a length and a half. Acronym is fourth. Three more, and it's Psalm. While Aruna bides time to the tail of the field, second last, about 13 from the front, and Apple Charlotte trailing that one. Making their way past the five for a long mark. The half was in 47, four-fifths of a second, and there goes Baltimore Bell and Eric Camacho getting away from a speed rival spring party to open up two and a half. Dino Walsh is in third. Length and a half more. Acronym is fourth. The inside is Psalm. Psalm is now fifth, and fourth in 
the inside now, about seven or eight from the front. In the meantime, Aruna's racing in the clear, three wide around the far turn, and Aruna begins her rally. She's moving into fourth on the outside and beginning to gain on Baltimore Bell, but so is Dinah Walsh. And the outside, Aruna's set down, and here comes Aruna, and Dinah Walsh head-to-head -head at the top of the stretch with Apple Charlotte, who's close in the back of the pack, wide out of the course. They make the turn home at Colonial Downs. Dinah Walsh on the inside, digging down from Aruna. Aruna perhaps a neck in front, about a furlong left to go, and it's Aruna and Dominguez gives her her cue, and she levels off. It's Aruna opening up on Dinah Walsh, and then Apple Charlotte third. Aruna rolls home a length and three quarters. Dinah Walsh solid second. Apple Charlotte was third, and acronym finished fourth, and the Edward P. Evans all along. Lined up, and they're off. Solid beginning. Your smart bid with a good break. Also, Sierra Alpha Rahi Strada to the inside there. And also, Guy's Reward is up the pace too. Mariba, the Brazilian bred, is going to take back now. About two and a half lengths off the lead. Followed by Dark Cove Court Vision and Silver Mountain in the back of the pack. Now, Court Vision is last. Into the first turn, only seven lengths from the lead. The pace appears to be slow here. 24 and 3 for the opening quarter. And Guy's Reward taking the initiative, but smart bid right there on the inside. The smart bid now maybe ahead in front from Guy's Reward as they round the turn. Sierra Alpha's third. Brazilian Red Maribos fourth. Here's Dark Cove fifth. Rahi Strata sixth. Court Vision is next and eighth and last is Silver Mountain. A tight pack still seven lengths from first to last. 48. Four fifths of a second on this firm going. And so on the inside, Smart Bid still exchanging the lead with Guy's Reward to the outside. Now they're in a chess match up front here, right up front there with Sierra Alpha is third, and the inside, Rahi Strada is next. To the outside is Mariba. Mariba tries to quicken up into the far turn. Mariba's racing in the clear. Dark Cove, Court Vision's only five from the front now, trying to move between horses, and Silver Mountain is the trailer. Guy's Reward and Smart Bid on the inside are joined by Mariba. Three deep out of the secretary at turf course. Rahi Strada's riding the rail. Right there too is Court Vision who's swinging into action. May need a bit of racing room there. Court Vision trying to get out of traffic and angles in between horses for the final 316s. Dark Cove on the far outside. Look at this open affair. It's Smart Bit at the 316s. Rahi Strada down to the inside. Dark Cove quickens out in the center of the course. Dark Cove Rahi Strada. Smart Bit in between horses battling on. Rahi Strada has the stride. Sheldon Russell four wins on the Colonial card. He Takes the Colonial Turf Cup, Rahi Strada from Smart Bid by two, Dark Cove was third, Court Vision and Mariba. And they're off in the opening verse. Armum Ray towards the outside of exchanging kisses. Both of these are keen to go and get the early lead as they pass beneath the twin spires. King of the Bluegrass is in a clear third position. And then Tadjar Weed and Turalua are ridden patiently at the back of the field as they go towards the clubhouse turn. Armum Ray has got a lead of a half a length to the inside exchanging kisses. These two now duel for the lead as they go towards the final three quarters of a mile. King of the Bluegrass is four lengths away, racing in third position. Tadjaweed is in fourth. Turalua is unhurried at the back of the pack through the quarter of 23 seconds flat. Exchanging kisses to the inside. Armum Ray to the outside. Still little between those two. Five lengths away. King of the Bluegrass. Followed then by a further two and a half length break to Tadjaweed. And then Turalua at the back of the field. And now Leperu just begins to get more vigorous on Turalua, who is spotting the dueling leaders some nine lengths. They go to the far turn, 46 seconds flat, 
was the half mile click and it's exchanging kisses now by a contested head. Armand Ray on that one's outside in second. Now Tadjar Weed begins to roll round the outside of King of the Bluegrass. And Tura Lua will turn in with only four lengths to find on the leader who is exchanging kisses. Who's softened up by Armand Ray to the outside. Here's Tadjar Weed to get the lead. And Tura Lua is now closing down the centre of the track. It's Tadjar Weed who still has the lead. Tura Lua towards the inside. They've got just over a six. Thing to go. Tura Lure has now put his grey head in front, and from last to first, Tura Lure wins the opening verse by a length and a half. Tajaweed in second, King of the Bluegrass in third, and the dueling early leaders, Armam Ray and Exchanging Kisses, were the last two home. And they're off. And as they broke away from the gate, it was a clash by the two in the centre, Band and Perigo. Band is taking a very strong hold early, and it's Redboard on the inside who has a slender lead. Band is racing very freely in second, Perigo in third, the Grey Benergy last. A circuit to go in the Grade 3 Jefferson Cup, presented by Abu Dhabi. Redboard and Julien Lepreau out in front, Band racing in second. Extending the rider's arms. Perigo to the outside in third. Benergy serves to the back of the field. 24 and 3 for the opening quarter mile. It's Redboard who takes him down the back stretch now by three parts of a length. Odds on favourite. Band racing in second. A length and a half away. Perigo in his slipstream in third. The inside. Benergy still just fourth. As we race on now towards the final four and a half furlongs. And it's Redboard who still leads the way. Took the half in 49 and 1. Through halfway in the 36th running of the Jefferson Cup. And it's Red Board who leads Band in second. And Band still refuses to settle. Length and a half away is Perry Go and Benergy still at the back of a very tightly grouped field of four. Into the far turn. And it's still Red Board who has the lead. Band looming on his outside. Perry Go will make a three wide challenge. Benergy ridden at the back of the field. Band has the lead at the top of the home straight. Perigo is a persistent pursuer to the outside. Band quickens on the lead, goes clear by two. Perigo in second, Benergy comes on, back to last. Red board inside the final furlong. It's Jose Lascano and Band who has gone clear by two and a half lengths. And it's back to back graded wins at Churchill Downs for Band. Band won the 36th running of the Jefferson Cup. Benergy was second, Perigo was third, and Redboard was fourth. And they're off in the Matt Wynn Stakes. Scotus broke out. Towards the inside is Will Byrne, and Will Byrne is sent to the lead by Mike Smith. To Jovan on the outside, Scotus racing in third, Supreme Ruler in fourth. Uncle Brent's racing in fifth, Infratini is in sixth, and Al's Tom is at the back of the field, and it's Will Byrne with seven-eighths a mile ahead of them, who leads now by a length. Jovan to the outside in second, closing now to within half a length. A break then of a length and a half to Scotus Racing in third. Round the outside, Uncle Brent's in fourth. Then on the inside, Supreme Ruler. First quarter, 24 and two and down the back stretch. And Wilburn is very wide out on the track here for Mike Smith. He's taking Wilburn into around about the four path here with five furlongs to go. In second is Jovan on the outside, Scotus. And then very wide is Uncle Brent. Towards the inside, Supreme Ruler. Well through halfway in the 14th, Matt Wynn. At the back of the field are Infratini and Owls Tom. Going into the far turn, Wilburn still has the lead. His constant shadow is Jovan to the outside. Scotus is now being pushed along in third. Uncle Brent's in fourth. 
Supreme Ruler now begins to beat a retreat in Frattini and Alstom with lots to do as they race now towards the final quarter mile. It's Joe Van who looms to the outside of Wilburn. Scotus is there, snapping away at their heels. Infratini tries to close to the inside as they race down towards the final furlong. Joe Van has the lead. Wilburn an all-out drive. Here's Scotus down the outside with a withering run. Infratini continues to close. Scotus has got the lead. Infratini with one last lunge. It's Scotus who wins the mat win. Scotus over Infratini. Jovan was third and Wilburn finished fourth. And they're off in the regret stakes. To the outside, Excited is right up there, and so to Bouquet Booth. And these are the first two. Towards the inside in third is Diva Ash. Catman Blue is racing in fourth position with stablemate Busy Caroline in fifth to the rail. In sixth is Blush and Bashful, followed in seventh by Holidays at the Farm. Chased along at the back of the field is Gaia, who just can't go the early gallop. 24 and 3, the opening quarter mile. The turf debutant Bouquet Booth leads the regret field around the turn. Excited in second, Deverash in third, Catman Blue in fourth, Busy Caroline in fifth. In sixth is Blush and Bashful. In seventh, Holidays at the Farm. Still last and losing further ground is Gaia as they go towards the halfway point. In the 42nd running of the regret, and it's Bouquet Booth through the half of 49 seconds. Fladu leads Excited by a length and a half. Diva Ash to the outside in third. Catman Blue is in fourth. Busy Caroline to the rail is in fifth. And then there's a break of just over a length to Blush and Bashful to the outside of Holidays at the Farm. And still a break of six lengths to Gaia. Into the far turn. Bouquet Booth still has the lead. Now engaging. Here's Excited. Excited has taken the lead. Bouquet Booth to the inside. Diva Ash is in third. Busy Caroline has taken fourth. Looks for a seam to the inside rail. Then Catman Blue, followed by Holidays at the Farm, racing down now towards a final full and a half. Excited and Bouquet Booth. The green colours is Busy Caroline down the outside, followed by Catman Blue inside the furlong. Busy Caroline has got the lead. Excited in second. Bouquet Booth to the inside, followed by Catman Blue. It's Manny Cruz and Busy Caroline to win the regret. Busy Caroline wins. Excited second, tight third. Bouquet Booth to the inside. Catman Blue. And they're off in the Stephen Foster, and it was a very even beginning. Mission Impassable on the outside of Regal Ransom Worldly, and Crown of Thorns, and also a part wants a piece of it, as they now split the wire with a circuit ahead of them, and it's Regal Ransom who just has the lead. Worldly between horses, there's Crown of Thorns, the inside rail, getting through a small gap now to try and challenge for the lead. Mission Impassable on the outside is racing in fourth. Apart is in fifth. El Caballo is in sixth. Flat Out's in seventh. And then in eighth is Equestrio, a break then of a couple of lengths back to in ninth position, Duke of Mischief. And then on the inside, Paul Play and Giant Oak at the back of the field, 23 and 4 for the opening quarter mile. Regal Ransom and Alan Garcia as they go towards halfway in the 30th running of the Stephen Foster Handicap. And it's Regal Ransom who leads. Mission Impassable on the outside in second. Worldly is in third. Apart is in fourth. Crown of Thorns is in fifth. El Caballo is in sixth. Flat Out is in seventh. On the outside in eighth is Duke of Mischief. Equestrio is in ninth, followed by Giant Oak. And now with half a mile to go, Paul Play is last, the half in 48 and 3. 
into the far turn in the Stephen Foster. Regal Ransom has the lead. Hard driven back in fifth is El Caballo, but it's Regal Ransom who leads. Mission Impassable in second. Apart looms in third. Worldly's in fourth. Round the outside, Duke of Mischief comes on. Brutally wide is Giant Oak. With Equestrio, Crown of Thorns, El Caballo has checked out. They race down the lane. Mission Impassable with on the inside, Regal Ransom. Here on the outside comes Duke of Mischief. Duke of Mischief and Mission Impassable, the first two. Followed by Regal Ransom. Flat out tries to run into the rail. Down the outside, here comes Paul Play together with a part. Then Giant Oak, 16th from the wire. Paul Play on the outside. Mission Impassable on the inside. Paul Play, Paul Play on the outside. Paul Play and Mission Impassable in a head bobbing, pulsating finish to the Stephen Foster. They're at the post. Uh, they're off in the Victoria Stakes. Gin Joints hustled out of there, but is out sprinted by Firefall. Firefall by ahead. Now Gin Joint comes on, and it's those two who hook up early. And just in behind them is Stark uh, raving uh, mad, and back in a force three and a Dundan. Uh, then we have a subtraction to the extreme outside is Banner Bill and in tight quarters and checking out of there the Stinkley Donovan who was eased at the 3 8 pole and they run to the quarter pole now Gin Joint longest shot on the board and it's Gin Joint Firefall fights back between horses and a wide Banner Bill is coming with a run and they turn for home and Banner Bill comes on in the far outside to take the lead and it's Banner Bill Suffraction is trying to close with an energetic bid on the heels of Banner Bill in the last eighth of a mile and it's Banner Bill two for two lifetime and a winner of the Victoria. Banner Bill won it by four and a half lengths. So Fraction was second, Firefall third and three and Dundan was fourth. They're off. Surrey Star and Moment of Weakness show speed. Midnight Interlude comes away third. Every Ego is at the rail fourth, and the early trailer is Temple's Door. Moment of Weakness rides the rail for Rosario, and he'll lead to the back stretch. He's opened up a two-length advantage. Midnight Interlude is outside of Surrey Star, and here's Midnight Interlude to run up and challenge the front runner. He's up into second and only a half length from the lead. Surrey Star takes back. He'll sit third in the red cap, two off the lead. Temple's Door is outside of him. Him, and every ego is now the trailer as they turn into the backstretch. In the first, Tsunami Slews stakes and Moment of Weakness is the one to catch. Moment of Weakness leads by a length and a half. Midnight Interlude, perfectly placed by Rafael Bejarano. He's got every chance from there, a half mile from home and a length and a half off the lead. Surrey Star is just outside of Temple's door. They're only three from the lead. Every ego is the trailer. Three furlongs left to run. Moment of Weakness trying to go it all the way. Midnight Interlude is poised if he's good enough. He draws closer now, three quarters of a length off the lead. Temple's Door threatens to run a big one. He's three deep and only two from the front. Surrey Star could still do it. Every ego is the trailer wide open as they turn for home. Moment of Weakness is the leader. Midnight Interlude alongside. Temple's Door in the center. Surrey Star dives through at the rail. Midnight Interlude a short lead. Surrey Star attacks. Temple's Door is back in third. Midnight Interlude half ahead. Surrey Star at the rail, midnight interlude, Surrey Star, midnight interlude. The first tsunami slew stakes goes to midnight interlude. A hard fought neck over Surrey Star, Temple's door, finish third.
They're off. Misdirection and mildly offensive. Fifth Commandment and pedal to the metal. These four right across the track. Fifth Avenue and Sugar in the Morning and the trailer is wave of applause. Pedal to the metal and mildly offensive. Mildly offensive. A half ahead in front. Pedal to the metal. A tugging second with misdirection. Now third at the rail and less than two from the front. Then comes Fifth Commandment and Sugar in the Morning. Sugar in the Morning going to have to tap on the brakes tightly between horses two and a half from the front. Fifth Avenue has three and a half to come and then five lengths last to wave of applause round the far turn in the 11th Manhattan Beach Stakes mildly offensive and pedal to the metal mildly offensive as a neck in front sugar in the morning has now found a seam meanwhile misdirection looms large at the rail if she can get through and it's going to be tight if she can do it to the middle of the track fifth commandment sugar in the morning has taken over the lead fifth commandment misdirection didn't make it through now two from the front and sugar in the morning leads She's got a two-length lead to the outside fifth commandment. Mildly offensive, misdirection, still in trouble, and Sugar in the Morning wins. Sugar in the Morning won by a length and a half, misdirection, and unlucky second across the track for third. They're off. American Story caught a flyer and goes right for the front. She's cheeky away in second. At the rail mismatch between horses Switch and Blind Luck and the early trailer is St. Trinian's. It will be American Story to set the pace from She's Cheeky at the clubhouse turn. American Story slowing it down for Martine Garcia and she leads by a length. She's Cheeky is second. Three quarters of a length from mismatch in third. The three long shots lead to the backstretch. The three superstar mares are fourth, fifth, and sixth. Switch is fourth. At the rail, St. Trinian's is now fifth and five from the front, and champion Blind Luck is just outside of her as they turn into the backstretch in the 70th Vanity Handicap. American Story doing it comfortably. American Story, three quarters of a length from Ch She's Cheeky in second. Mismatch gallops in third. Switch is under a snug hold from Rosario. She's fourth and about four from the front. St. Trinian's is only a length behind Switch. Blind Luck is only a length behind St. Trinian's. There's a half mile left to race. American Story quickens the pace into the far turn, but she's still doing it well within herself from Cheese Cheeky in second. Mismatch remains in third. Switch is fourth and three and a half off the lead. St. Trinian's is a length behind her. Blind Luck is sixth and last, and she's got six lengths to make up. American Story trying to steal it at the top of the stretch, but She's Cheeky is alongside in second. Mismatch is a length from the front in third. Switch is three deep. St. Trinian's in blind luck. They run to the final furlong. She's Cheeky has put ahead in front. Mismatch to the outside switch. Further out. Here comes blind luck. Switch and blind luck. St. Trinian's leads away through. Blind luck might pass them all. Blind luck switch. Blind luck from last to first to win. The 70th Vanity Handicap goes to blind luck. She beat switch. Mismatch finished third. They're off. Warren's Blossom, all the love, and Irish Gypsy, all the love, puts her neck in front. Fundraiser and Washington Bridge at the back of the pack. 
It's all the love and Chantal Sutherland up the back stretch and neck in front of Warren's Blossom who's at the rail in second. Irish Gypsy is third and two from the front and she's joined by Washington Bridge between horses. Fundraiser going to be in a tight spot leaving the back stretch. She's fifth at the rail inside of two others and they leave the back stretch in the 15th. Desert Stormer handicap and all the love is narrowly in front. Warren's Blossom continues to apply pressure in second. The Baffert trainees are moving as a team. Irish Gypsy and Fundraiser, they are right together in two from the front. Washington Bridge was shuffled back, leaving the backstretch, and now she's got five lengths to make up. Warren's Blossom has moved through to take a short lead from all the love in second. Irish Gypsy's on the move. Fundraiser trying to go with her stablemate. Washington Bridge too far out of it with five lengths to make up, and here comes Irish Gypsy. Irish Gypsy has taken over the lead. Warren's Blossom is second. Fundraiser third. Three wins. Bob Bafford four wins. Martin Garcia. Irish Gypsy wins the 15th. Desert Stormer by two. Warren's Blossom second. Fundraiser third. Washington Bridge fourth. they're off. Good start for Humble and Hungry. Street game also off to a good beginning. Down inside, it's Long Hunter will be forwardly placed. It's those three entering the back stretch together. Chinglish now moves up to be fourth on the outside. So entering the back stretch run. The leader will be Street Game. Humble and Hungry taken back to run in second. And Long Hunter is well held now, restrained back in third. Chinglish is now fourth. Then in between horses, east of Danzig and fastest magician, they're fifth and sixth. Master Dunker, seventh on the outside. Air support is now eighth and on the rail, only about seven lengths from this tepid pace up front. The trailer is casino host. 24 and two was the opening quarter mile. The field entering the far turn now. Street game still in control of the pace here and it remains very easy with a half mile remaining. On the outside, Humble and Hungry sitting second through a pokey 48 and 4 opening half mile. Chinglish is now third on the outside. Just in behind the lead, Long Hunter remains in fourth. And it's fastest magician racing fifth, about five lengths from the lead now, followed by Master Dunker Casino host. Air Support's got a lot to do. The favorite is seven lengths behind and seven horses in front of him. The field turns for home, less than two furlongs to go. Street game striding away. Street game kicking clear now by four and now by five. Long Hunter left reeling back in second. Air support coming out late, but they're coming down to the finish. And it will be Street Game, who just galloped through the opening stages and sprinted from the quarter pole to the wire. He won big. Air support finishing second, humble and hungry third, followed by Long Hunter. They're off. Good beginning for Life at 10, and so too Absinthe Minded, who's looking for the lead. Awesome Maria comes away in between those two. Not far behind them, Peyton Duro. Super Espresso will be four lengths behind the early leaders as the field moves down the back stretch run. And the early leaders are Absinthe Minded, Life at 10, who's under a hard hold there. Awesome Maria between those two. They're about to be joined by Peyton Doyle. And Super Espresso comes up closer now as the field continues the run up the back stretch. Up the back stretch, run up top. It is Absinthe Minded, the leader. Hounded by Awesome Maria, right there, second. Life at 10, still rating, while three wide. Peyton Doro out there, four wide. Super Espresso still well within striking range, only four lengths from the lead as the field enters the far turn. 
up top. It's still absent minded, still leading with a half mile remaining here. Awesome Maria moving right with her, though, moving with her easily. On the outside, Life at 10. Now a length behind the leaders in third, Super Espresso. Just in behind the lead and ready to roll from fourth here with three furlongs to go. Peyton Doro takes to the outside. Now they're coming to the top of the stretch. Absinthe minded throws in the towel. Awesome Maria and life for 10. And the battle is on as they turn for home. Super Espresso comes up the inside. Peyton Doro down the outside. Awesome Maria holding on to that lead. Life at 10. Peyton Doro charging hard. Super Espresso fourth inside the final furlong. Johnny Velasquez and Awesome Maria clear by two. Peyton Doro final try from the outside, but they're coming down to the finish. Awesome indeed. A flawless 4-4-4 four, 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 four-year-old filly. Awesome Maria. Peyton Doro second. Super Espresso Life at 10. And they're off. Smoking Hero gets the jump on them. Johannesburg smile with that early speed. Smoking Hero, very rank. Smoking Hero is rank. And here comes Spa City Fever down on his inside. Slevin is up there, forwardly placed. Johannesburg smile on the far outside. And in between horses, it's most happy fella. Long way back, about eight lengths back to Northern New Yorker. So now the back stretch run. Spa City Fever is punched through on the inside of Smoking Hero to get that lead in 23 and one fifth seconds. That's a very easy fraction for these horses. They've got some speed. Johannesburg Smile is up and on the pace now with five furlongs to go. Then Slevin and on his outside, most happy fella. And six or seven back to Northern New York and around the far turn. Spa City Fever by a neck. Johannesburg Smile. A half and 45 and four fifth seconds. Slevin in behind him third. Smoking Hero is now fourth and a bit wide. Four lengths back to Most Happy Fellow is also wide. And another five back to Naughty New Yorker as they come to the top of the stretch. And the favorite Johannesburg Smile is the leader, but a narrow lead as they turn for home. Spa City Fever fights them all the way as they come past the quarter pole. Slavin is right there in a little bit of a tight. And on the far outside, Smoking Hero Resurgent. Top of the stretch, Johannesburg Smile, Spa City Fever, Slevin between horses. Smoking Hero makes it tight for Slevin. Final furlong here, Johannesburg Smile between horses. On the inside, Spa City Fever, and on the outside, Smoking Hero. Three of them headlong, under the wire. Photo finish, Smoking Hero and Spa City Fever, a nose apart. Johannesburg Smile was third.